What's up guys, F Focus, and we're back on some graphic settings. Um, now, I got an overwhelming number of people saying, how did you do the standby list? Please, I need some help. And I do understand that it helps everybody substantially. Um, I just want to let everybody know that the reason I did not um, immediately go into detail on that was because it was not something that I um, like found out myself. Diabetes brought it to me. So I didn't want to take credit for something that he brought to me that helps me out um, tremendously. So I wanted to talk to him first, and I did talk to him and he's so, he's, he's so cool with with me uh, telling everybody about it so um, big thanks to him now I'm sure there's hundreds of thousands of other uh, videos online and stuff um, but for those of you that want it from me here we go um, so the first thing you want to do in case you already forgot go to your task manager click on performances and open resource monitor and uh, you'll see uh, your standby memory mine's at 506 megabytes um, so this is just for a reference so you guys can see that uh, it's actually working now first thing we want to do is actually go to this right here and I'll put that link down in the description now once we click download we're gonna see that it downloaded right here it's gonna come right into our download list and the next thing that we want to do is actually go over to our C drive and we're gonna want to create a new folder um, we're just gonna do uh, standby mem open this up and we're gonna actually drag um, this empty standby uh, list into this folder here now the first thing that we're going to do before we do anything else is right click on this go to properties go to compatibility run this program as administrator apply okay and now we're good um, every time it runs it'll take uh, top priority um, so we're done with this for now next thing you want to go to is your task scheduler and again I apologize if we're going quick but we're going to make this video a pretty fast one so create a new task Title this whatever you want. Um, we're just going to do standby mem. And you can do a description if you want. It doesn't really matter. But the, another important thing, you want to change user or group. Click on this. Click on advanced. And then click find now on the right hand side. And you're going to scroll down until you see system in all caps. Um, double click on that. And then click OK. And if you did this correct, it'll actually say NT authority system. OK, next to your uh, change user or group. And then as long whenever you found that, if you didn't, just go back through, follow the same steps, make sure it's system in all caps until you get this NT authority system. Then we're going to want to check run with highest privileges and hidden. And after you check those two on the top of this, uh, this new, uh, new task again, you want to click uh, triggers, click new trigger. We're going to do on a schedule one time, repeat this task every, I don't recommend doing an hour, I recommend five or 10 minutes, we're gonna put it as five minutes for now, and then also for a duration of indefinitely, so whenever your computer's on and running, every five minutes, all the time, it will always run this task, and it'll be hidden. So this is all good for here, click OK, then go over to your actions, click a new action, browse, and you wanna go over here to your local C drive and find this uh, folder where you downloaded your uh, empty standby list. Click on that, click open, and you'll click okay, and click okay. And you're done with your task. Up here in the top left again, you wanna click on your task scheduler library, and you may not see it, right click, click refresh, and it'll pop up. Um, we got our standby mem down here at the bottom. And just so you guys can see that it's working, we're at 598 megabytes. Um, our task here, since we did five minutes, it says it'll do, it's a little under five minutes now, is when it will run indefinitely. Um, it's ready because it hasn't ran yet, but we're going to go ahead and click run for us. And it says that it's running right now. If we go back to our um, resource monitor, we see that it actually ran and cleared our standby memory. Um, you can run this program manually all the time, but the reason we create a task is so it runs in the background while we're playing our game so things don't get bogged down. So all those stutters and all that time that your game felt kind of it's just sluggish and, and almost not laggy, but just didn't run quite what it used to when you first ran the game. Um, this is the reason. So whenever people say, oh, I got to restart my game or whenever you play, it doesn't have to be Tarkov. Any game you play, oh, I got to restart real quick. And it's you're clearing that standby memory every time your computer restarts or every time the, the system essentially restarts. Um, so running this and having this run in the background saves so much time and makes your games run um, tremendously smoother. So if this helps, uh, give it a like. Thank Diabetes because he's the one that told me about it. And as always, hit that like button, subscribe, share if you want to, and enjoy.